Jose Abreu gave you nothing this season. And the fact that Dana Brown told Robert Ford yesterday, and that to me is where I've produced a million of those things. The thing about Robert is like when, when Dana Brown or James Click before, or it was Dusty Baker, were doing those interviews, that's where they are their most honest. Like more than when they do their regular flagship stuff, when they're talking to Robert Ford because they see him on a daily basis, they're with him all the time. They clearly have a trust there. And for for Dana Brown to say that Jose Abreu could be back on Friday, there's no reason to believe he's lying. And why? Why? Like, what are we doing? It's the silent but deadly meat fart on top of the recent play. I, I have no idea why we went from on Saturday, or excuse me, on Thursday, when Joe Espada gave no timetable for Abreu's return, making it sound like, oh, he's going to be there for a while. How did we go from there on Thursday to yesterday hinting that he'll be back on Friday against the A's? And why? It's not like he's gone up against any minor league pitching. He's been going up against West Palm Beach pitching. Mm -hmm. Have we been able to even watch this from a reporter's perspective? Well, no, because it doesn't matter what the reporters think. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks, except for one person. Who's that? Jeff Bagwell. Yeah. Jeff Bagwell is coming back. Oh, here we go. This guy, Francis Romero, a baseball reporter. It doesn't say he writes for anyone on his Twitter account, but he Jose Abreu got a double yesterday against something called a Cade Cavalli. So he got a double. He got a double. Slugging percentage up. Great. Why? Why is he coming up? John Singleton has been fine. He, uh, he he's been good, good yesterday. He's been good enough. He's been better than Jose Abreu was. Yes, because he was he's awful. Awful. And there's zero reason to bring him back right now. He's playing against nobodies. And all it is is Jeff Bagwell is down there saying his swing looks better. He better be right. He he better be right cuz honestly like Jim Crane should fire his ass. Like, no questions asked. If Jose Abreu comes back up here and starts being absolutely terrible again, if he's not ready and they bring him up and they force him into the lineup, it is the dumbest decision this organization could possibly make. It makes zero logical sense. If he's not good, it's a total joke. There's really, more than anything, no reason to rush him back either. I mean, if he needed to go to West Palm Beach... Let him stay in West Palm Beach as long as he possibly can. Let him rest up. But there's no reason to bring him back because there's no injuries and there's no desperation. So maybe he has figured it out. For all we know, Jeff Bagwell, for what it's worth, was a Hall of Fame player. But it feels like they are forcing him back because they're annoyed with how much they paid for him. Kind of like I kept on taking a protein that I was allergic to when I was 19 years old because I spent $50 on it. And even though my tongue was swelling up and the back of my throat was closing up every time I took it, I said, nope, I'm going to get to the bottom of this protein, uh, whey protein, and next thing I know, I ended up in the hospital. That wasn't (laughs) good. That's, That's not good. That's what it feels like Jim Crane and Jeff Bagwell are doing here. It's that they are mad about a purchase that hasn't worked out and they are going to do everything in their power to make it work out. But there's no reason to try and make it work out right now. Mm-hmm. Like maybe months from now. But right now, it, it is bizarre. And it feels like one of those things that could theoretically disrupt momentum. If you're one of the players in the Astros clubhouse, no matter how much you like Jose Abreu, if he comes back and he, all of a sudden he's playing over John Singleton, who is playing well and flipping his bats like a pimp out there. There's even a headline about that, I think, at the Athletic. John Singleton's bat flips are, are pimp like. Yeah, fast in baseball. Fun. But why would you take this player out of the starting lineup when he's playing well for a guy who's not? Like the people in the clubhouse, no matter how much they like Jose Abreu and want him to succeed, they're all going to think that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Especially seeing as they're winning now. So uh, it it makes me wonder, and to go back to what you were saying, Joe, it's very clear that Dana Brown and Joe Espada have a lot less control over the day-to-day of the major league roster than they probably should. And, And we blame them 
for a lot thus far. And it's been unfair blame. I really wonder what Dana Brown is asked to do from a major league perspective. Because honestly, he was probably brought in, if you think about it, given his history in Atlanta, to rebuild the farm system, to make it so that they're actually bringing guys in in the near future. And it, it, maybe they're even telling him, hey, I mean, you're going to have to answer all the questions, the tough questions that we're hiding from Bagwell, Jim Crane, but we're going to be the ones making the decisions at the major league level. And that's crazy to me. Just like it feels like with Joe Espada, too. If on Thursday, he does not have a timetable table for Abreu returning. And now without having seen Abreu play, there's a possibility he's back on Friday against the A's. How can you look at either of those two and think that they're really in control here? They're not. Yeah, a couple of things. So like Todd Todd and, and Dana here on the Twitch pushing back a little. Uh, Dana says, I hope Abreu kills it when they bring him back. I also We do. all do. For the record. I hope that Abreu, who he was the last month of the season, is who he was. Because if he is, then the Astros are going to be even better. And then Todd, the show, just says, what if he comes back and is actually good? It's not impossible that he plays well. What if I won the lottery? Yeah, what if I grew five inches? Like, what if I was six feet tall? Like, that's what it feels like to me. I hope I hope he does. I hope he comes back and he crushes it. But he's shown no evidence so far that he's going to turn around. And maybe it's because, yeah, we can't, like, there's no one there. He's, he's playing against nobodies. All we have is the word of Jeff Bagwell. That's all Dana Brown has. That's all Joe Espada has. Dana Brown's not been in Florida, for the record. Like, <laughs> oh. no, one, no one has reported that Dana Brown has gone to West Palm Beach. So unless I missed it, to me, the only people who are going are Jeff Bagwell and whoever he wants. But it seems like it's all baggy making this decision. I've been closer to Jose Abreu than Joe Espada and Dana Brown. Because I was in Florida last weekend. West Palm yeah. Beach, though, is about a, like a three-hour drive. Uh, text line here. One of the shows said he. Uh, sh- one of the shows said because he's a vet, he needed to approve and agrees to go down. Does that mean he can also leave when he wants? Now that's a good question. I don't know that. I I don't know how that works. I, I don't either. Because it is optional that he went down to Florida. So I do wonder if there's an <laughs> element of, hey guys, I'm coming back. Right. I don't think that West Palm Beach is essentially a uh, Astro CIA black site. Yeah. <laughs> you know, where he's like in a in a room with nothing in it, sitting in a chair with a hood over yeah. his head. I think I think once you agree to go down to West Palm Beach, you give up your rights, uh, not just wow. as an MLB player, but as a U.S. citizen. Uh, <laughs> they can then do whatever they want. To. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe that is. May, I mean, we did think that it was weird that they didn't just cut him and that he wanted to you know work on some stuff and and he didn't want to go out like this he want he want, he felt bad and he wanted to actually improve and not just take the money and go away maybe this is part of their agreement is okay we'll give you what it, it would have been like 2 weeks 3 weeks well that that we'll say no timetable but we'll give you 3 weeks we're playing the A's that's when you can come back and get your feet wet. Yeah, when we're playing our best baseball of the season, that's when we'll bring back our worst player. How would he know that he's improved as well when he's not going up against major league pitching or even minor league pitching? Bat speed. How fast is he swinging that bat? Yeah. Is Jeff Bagwell just standing right in front of him holding a radar gun? I'm, I'm sure that that radar gun is going to get accurate measurements. Yeah. For a quick, they know. A quick twitch motion like yeah. that. It, I just the way they talked about it originally too, with like the Pilates and like becoming more flexible and going and the quick twitch muscles and reversing basically everything he did for an entire off season. Yeah. He's too bulky, too strong. You fixed it in three weeks. Yeah, like you got him that less bulky and more quick twitchy in three weeks. Yeah, I mean that would go <laughs> like, back to the. I, mean, I, I just I don't know. That would go back to the possibility that he, as Sean said, has given up his rights as a U.S. citizen, and they're just starving him down there. <laughs> I think, I think when this hap- when it was announced that he was going down, a it happened immediately after our show. I think on a Thursday, mm-hmm. I remember. Um, so Friday three oh five. Right oh, after we get, oh, right after was we get it off a Friday. No, no, I'm saying this week when we get oh. off the air, it officially he'll come back. <laughs> um, but I I think the timetable we all had was like I don't know, July maybe. <laughs> If things don't go right, like it, he would be a human tank, uh, tanking uh, asset where it's like, well, if the season's lost in July, bring him back. Who cares? Maybe get a draft pick. 
<laughs> and and now it's the team is actually playing its best baseball. Oh, Andy's coming back way sooner than anyone would have thought. That that it seems like there must have been some sort of handshake deal for this will only be X amount of days, no matter what. I kind of agree. I would like I would like for him to play a play a game or two. I I was joking about playing in Sugarland to sell some tickets. Um, probably not to sell some tickets, but at least to like see him they did they did say that he might play some games in the minors i don't it'll be whichever between corpus christi and sugarlands at home i would imagine that before friday he could come up but even then that'd be four games max yeah well because he's playing in a game today obviously there's no minor league games on mondays anymore but sugarland will be here taking on round rock the next four days so maybe he'll play tuesday wednesday thursday in sugarland and then he'll be back on on yeah. friday versus oakland we'll see i don't love that you don't love that? No. Do you love that? Neither of us love it. I no need one longer, loves it. I need a longer rehab assignment. I can't believe that there's even multiple people on, that anyone wants this. This is this should be universally met with a, what are you effing doing? There is yeah. no reason to bring him back. Now, Singleton hasn't been awesome the last week or so, or uh, I think like two weeks. It's He's kind of not fallen down to where he was before, but he's he's not hitting a home run every two games like he was for a while. Still, probably giving you better than what you could expect from Jose Abreu. So I don't know. I don't know if it's a recent performance from Singleton thing. They think this is our end. This is how we. This is how we make it happen. I don't know. 